Hello, finally Friday, yeah? So, I'm just thinking to update my video with my tools. I think the first video with my tools, which I'm happy with them, was like two years ago. So, from that video, I'm still using some tools, yeah? But let's speak about tools today, yeah? Let's speak about tools. Because many people ask about tools. And meanwhile, let's fix something. Because, you know, we have to do some work. But I'm just thinking, what will be interesting? Probably not this. PS4 fan and disc? Probably not. Probably not. What about... What about Nintendo Wii? I don't think I have with Nintendo Wii a charging port job. We have? No, probably not. Or I don't, I don't remember. Well, this will be long. I want something easy. The last video, the people said, we need more laptops, we need more laptops. Okay, we can do more laptops. We can do more laptops. One second. One second, let me get the black tape. If I can find the black tape. Yeah. So we have a nice Acer laptop. Yeah. Probably this is a happy customer because this job was here before. Yeah, but this is a Acer. This is a Acer. Uh, okay, Acer Aspire five five three five. Yeah, this is a nice one. It's an old one with uh, eighty Radeon graphic chip, but. If you are from this time, you know, from the time when the, this laptop comes out, this laptop was crazy, was was the nicest laptop from the market because of, of the round things and everything was nice. This was quite expensive, Acer. But this is a nice one, yeah? Like, seven years old, but it was a nice one. The problem with it, okay, this was first, like two years ago, Windows and Office, okay. And now it's not turning on. That's the that's the problem with this one. So let's test it. Let me find a charger. Maybe we can fix it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't have a charger. Or maybe. Oh yeah, I found one. One second. Yeah, I know what you mean when you ask about more laptops uh, videos. Uh, something is wrong on what the people think. They think uh, the tablet get uh, get over the laptop. So actually, everyone with you will use a tablet, not a laptop, which is completely wrong. Processing power, heat. You have to get rid of the heat. Get rid of the heat. Any yeah, heat sink, you need fans. So, probably not very soon. Not very soon. The laptops are still, uh, will be still here. So we have the charging light on this one. You remember my uh, video with the MacBook? You remember overclocking a MacBook, which actually is no overclocking. But we test that laptop. It was a MacBook 2015. And on the MacBook specs was saying 2.8 gigahertz Intel i7. That 2.8 boosting to I, I think 4 gig. So we ran a we ran a, a stress test, and actually the laptop was holding that clock 4 gigahertz 4, gig, 4 gigahertz clock 
was like 20 seconds. So you have that for, for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, the clock goes down to like 2.7 gigahertz. Yeah. So that's the thing with the, with the laptops. Because many, many think, you know, okay, the desktop is i7, it's a big desktop, and the laptop is i7, and the same thing, which is not, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Because that's the, the way how the laptop works, when the processor reach like, you know, a preset up temperature, you lower the clock, and the processor will cool down on that way. Okay? So we have the charging light, power on, we have the power on light, so I think it's wrong. He's saying not coming on, but it is coming on. But it's nothing on screen. And this is a very well known fault, you know, nothing on screen. When you, when you see a laptop, nothing on screen, you see 80 or ID on graphics, you know what's the problem. Yeah, so the laptop is on and still nothing on screen. That's the problem. If you are like a beginner on these things, probably you'll think it's the RAM memory or the BIOS or... But it's not. It's a graphics issue. Let's try and fix this. It's nothing to fix. That's the point when you, you when you have to say, you know what, I can't, I can't. I know it's a dodgy job what I will do now. But it just gives some time to the customer to save his data and buy another laptop. So you can see it like a dodgy job or you can see it like a... Like a way to make the customer happy and say, look, your uh, thing is dead. We'll just bring it alive for a little bit and that's all. Just enough to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, look look what nice is this inside. That, that was how the laptop was like a few years ago. You can see clearly what's going on here. Here you have two power supplies with this driver, so nice, here you can see. Here you have another power supply, probably the RAM one, probably this is 3 volts and 5 volts. You have one more here, probably is the big 5 volts one, or 3.3 for the DVD hard drive. Processor. The Super I.O. here. The driver from the processor. For the, these, these uh, power supplies, dual phase power supply, nice, yeah, nice, clear, everything is clear here. You can diagnose the things, you know, I don't even have to open the laptop because I have everything here. Yeah, nice one. Speaking about the tools. I'm just trying to keep you away for like spending money, a lot of money for tools. Because better tools, I don't think will make you a better uh, technician. Okay, so that's the heatsink. Here is the graphics. Here is the processor. Based on the on the thermal paste. Yeah, probably was never open this one. Yeah. Graphics, the processor, yeah? And that's the graphic chip. I will not take the board out. We'll just do a little bit of magic. Ah, oh, sorry. Just a little bit of magic around the graphic chip. Just to give so to the customer some time to save his things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's just use some uh, tape. Speaking about the tools, I'll show you one more time what I'm using and what I why I'm happy about the tools. Okay, just let me finish this. Yeah, we need some flux. Let me see if I can find my flux. It's ended, so I have to make another flux. You know the rosin flux, liquid one. All what I need, I need some time. So actually my flux run now from like for three months and I didn't find time yet to make another one. Okay, let me get a small nozzle. Small nozzle. We'll try to avoid the middle uh, middle thing, you know, the glass thing. I'll use 500 degrees, max temperature, half air, okay. This is 500 degrees, it's very dangerous to play with 500 degrees on a chip. You really have to be careful and quick also. Okay, that's all. Okay. Let's see. Let's use like... Uh, just to check, just to check. And after that we can change the thermal paste and... Uh, the thermal path from the graphics yeah the heat sink is still good let me grab the charger Let's plug the charger and the moment of truth on. And it's working fine. Yeah. Okay. Now let's replace that pad and the thermal paste, okay? You can call me dodgy if you want, you know, I get used to this word. But you have a choice to say no to this kind of job. Or, you know, charge a little bit and give to the people more time. To save them their, their data and buy another laptop. So it's up to you. So speaking about the tools, yeah, let's start with something. 
Let's start with the uh, with the solder iron. Yeah, that's the first one from here. Solder, my solder iron is this one. Yeah. This is a cheap no-name solder iron which once get burned a transformer from inside and remember we made a video repairing that transformer and it's still working fine, I have no problems. Yeah. But you know the way how I choose uh, like let's say this uh, this uh, solder iron. Let me go online. Let me let me see if I can, we still can find on eBay. Solder iron, solder iron station. Okay, let me let me switch. Let me switch one second. Yeah, that's great. It's fantastic. So if you search on eBay, my one. Let's see when they where is my one. Uh, should be a blue one. Some blue no-name solder station. Probably they are not selling anymore this. Look, now it's even cheaper. Okay. Blue, blue, blue. No, it's not that one. You can use any if you make you happy. I'm trying to show you what I'm using and why I'm using something like that. Because it is why I am using something like that. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's expensive. I don't, it's not expensive, like 40 pounds. But that's my solar iron station. So this is not advertised. You don't have to buy from here. You can buy it from probably cheaper from Alien Express or. Alibaba or I don't know but this is a 48 watts uh, 48 watts uh, solder iron that's what I'm using here and why I'm using this you know how it is the first when you choose a soldering uh, iron the first I check if they have tips for sell and not any tip yeah like my tip. Uh, one second. So I check for see if I can find like a small tip which I can use it on both, like phone, laptops, yeah, and even big things. So that's what I checked first if if they have tips for sell. So first I go on the tip area, I check for tip. When I found like small tips. I see what the the soldering station is there. Same with this one. Same with this one. Same with this one. One second. Yeah. So going back. Yeah. Going back. Let's search for tips. Yeah. Soldering iron tips. Yeah, I did. I did check earlier if they still they, they still have the tips for sale. I think that was the one. Uh. Forty four forty wa forty eight watts tips, yeah. So these are my one. And you see the smallest one? So I'm using only that one. Only the smallest one, which is 
it's okay let's say it's okay for phones and laptops and everything that's what I, I'm using <coughs> it's the same one <coughs> Is the same tip. Wow. <laughs> same one with one from the picture. You can see? So I'm happy because always I can have this small tip, which I can use it like phones and laptops. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So with forty pound, I'm happy, and I'm using this for like two years. Two years, I never, I never replace the the resistance. Yeah, never get burned. I just, I just stuck the the temperature of four hundred degrees, and I can use it for anything. Yeah. Cheap. It's, it's it's a big difference, yeah, compared, let's say, with my friend Jason, which he bought, like, 1,000 pounds solar iron, Hako, I don't know what, and, you know, from 1,000 to 40 pounds, actually, it's no difference, yeah, the difference is your soldering skill, you know what I mean? Okay. So, no point, buy an expensive one, it's no point. It's same like with the cars. You buy a Ferrari, but you still drive with 30 miles per hour because that's the limit, or 70 on the motorways. Yeah. So no really point to spend so much money. Better to put the money on something else. So that's the solar iron. The next thing is what I am happy. Yeah, that's the solar iron. This one, the multimeter from the screen. Yeah, this is the multimeter. I don't even want to tell you the model. Don't buy it. It's, it's, it. I'm not happy with that. This one. It's all. It's, it's, it's freezing. It's changing by itself. It's, it's, it's not a good tool. Yeah. Don't buy it. Multimeter. I'm very happy with the with the multimeter. This one. This is this is great and it was cheap. If I remember, let me search on uh, on eBay. One second desktop UT801 I, I bought this from here lo locally oh. <clears throat> from Uplins I think I bought it it's not so expensive 65 pound it's not like so so expensive I'm sure you can find cheaper, I'm sure, but just give you an idea what I am using here, because many ask about the tools, it's no, it's, it's, no, it's no secret. So that's the multimeter, it's very stable, I have no problem, no issues from so many, I think I have this like for 4 years, and I have no problems, it's working great. You can check capacity, you can check up to 200 kilohertz frequency, yeah, diode, resistance, current, 
Yeah. Arms up to 10 arms. It's okay. Yeah. It's just okay. I have no problems. And I'm happy. When I have no problems, I told you that's fine. I can concentrate on something else more important. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Thermal paste. Okay. Give one second. Let's try to find a pad. We need a pad. Oh, sorry. A thermal pad is like probably a one millimeter. We need a thermal pad. Well, yeah. So let's uh, replace that thermal pad. But today is quite busy, a lot of customers here. Yeah, we have a thermal pad. Yeah, that should be fine. Let put this. Uh, let's put it on a chip. We have the thermal paste. The heat sink is clean. That's great. Let's test it again. Be sure everything is fine. It is on. We have the light. Everything is fine.
fan is not even spinning. The fan is spinning when the when it's getting hot. That's normal. On some, on some is spinning all the time. Hey. Yeah. Okay. That's good, that's good. Give me one second. Okay. So busy. Friday. Yeah, he's doing some updates, so it's working fine. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's logging in. So we bring back to life this one. Okay, the next one is the hot air machine. The hot air, I'm very happy. There. Like extremely happy, extremely, extremely happy. Uh, yeah, that's the one. A ten. Yeah, and the model is AT A six zero D. Okay. Let's have a look online. This is like from five years is here and it's working fantastic. I know it's expensive. Maybe this is the most expensive tool. Maybe not. Okay, that's the I never replace anything. I never replace anything on this uh, hot air station, but it's not for sale on eBay. See Google, eBay. Hey, it is for sale on eBay. No, it's not this one. It's not. 860D. Sold out. Okay. Alien Express. Really? Ah, it's not. Hmm. Alibaba. It's not this one, no. No, it's not this one. So no one is selling this kind of... So actually you cannot buy this hot air machine. How is possible? Probably they replace this model with different model. But I never had problems. It was expensive, yeah. And probably we, we, we didn't pay that much money. I think on that point it was like 350 But the problem is we are like buying every month like minimum like two hot air machines and they get burned, they get burned. And at some point, you know what, we said, I said, just buy a better one and we found this one I found it online and I, I bought it and it was fine I have no problems for so many years so many years yeah 
The buttons are not working anymore. I think one button is not working anymore. But it's great. Very precise. <coughs> very precise machine. So I'm very happy about the, the hot air machine. It's pretty sad you can't buy it anymore. The power supply, power supply. Let me see if I can find it. This this power supply is funny, you know. You remember we we made a video, and the inside everything is burned. I replaced like the the rectifier bridge. I replaced it like three times. The 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 heat sink is a transistor with a heat sink. It's it's melted. It's still working. Let me see if I can find this one. Okay, okay, I found it. One second. This is funny. It's, I'm so happy with the power supply. You know, it's it's like five amps, thirty volts. But I'm so happy with the power supply. This is like you know when you are abusing the tools. This power supply, it's abused. Like basically, it's abused. Uh, I don't know what brand is and who made it, but it's, you know, I'm so happy with with this power supply. Ah uh, no, you can't find it. Yeah. Huh? Sold out. So I don't understand. You see these these tools, which are good tools. You can't buy them anymore. Why? A hundred pound, okay. So you still can find them somewhere in China. <laughs> Probably it's a Chinese one. It was very, very good, very good power supply. Next, I do have a, a, a second uh, solder iron, which I'm not using too much. I'm, I'm not happy. You know, I replace so many heating elements. Too many. There's no even point to show you. So those are my tools. Those are all my tools. Yeah? I think that's all, yeah? That's all. That's what you need. Solar iron, multimeter, hot air machine and power supply. That's all what you have to know. Now one problem, one problem. You remember this toy? When I said, you know what, I'm very very happy with, with this toy. This one with the USB with the Bluetooth. Well, it's fair, you know, to give a review. Like how I said first time, I was very happy. You know, you have a software, you have a Bluetooth connection. It's okay. It's working great. So I can't say nothing wrong about that. But if you have a phone with a shorted connector, like or let's say you move it and somehow you know the, the the connector is getting shorted the bluetooth connection got reset and it, it will not tell you on the software and that's bad because you you'll think okay so it's taking no current or it's taking same current but actually it's disconnected and you have to reconnect again select the com in my case com7 and you have to reconnect and that's a big minus you know because I have to count on my tools, so I have I have to be sure always is displaying the right value. But that that's a minus. That's a minus, and I can't say this is this is. I will use this software like my second, uh, like my second uh, USB power meter. But the first one will still be the one with the camera. Yeah. What do I want to review in the future would be this one. I bought this one, but I, I haven't opened yet. This is a cheap oscilloscope. So, on some point, when I'll have uh, space here, I'll install this and uh, we'll see if it's working fine, if it's worth the money. It was cheap, I think it was like 50 pounds, something like that. 
We'll see you in the future. We'll see. I just need a little bit of time. Okay, so this is this is ready. It's working. So don't jump and buy expensive tools. It's not really point. Actually, try to invest more on you on your skill, and that will make the difference. I don't think I can keep this video running because it's so busy, it's incredible. For a Saturday, it's very busy. Okay, we need one more screw. So if you have any money, <coughs> just put the money on you. No money comes, no man, money goes. But whatever you learn, it'll be helpful like every day. Or on the future on your life, yeah? I started this video was quiet, but now got very busy. And uh, yeah, easy, it's working fine. Okay. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you probably, see you probably next week. You know, it's Friday. See you probably next week. We have, you know, we do have, I have a lot of jobs, but also a lot of customers there, and um, just Diana and the other guys, not uh, too many people there, okay? So see you next week. Bye.